everybody, it's Patricia and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a first impressions try on of the uh, eyeshadow palette that broke my no buy. And it is from Love Lux Beauty. Now let me show you kind of how it arrived. It arrived really, really um, wrapped in bubble wrap. So the palette itself was wrapped in bubble wrap and stuck inside this cardboard sleeve which was wrapped in bubble wrap and then it was wrapped again in another layer of bubble wrap so I was quite impressed with their uh, how they took care in their shipping but it came in this sleeve which does not is not the same size as the palette this is how the palette came and this is the trichrome this is a plastic oops the trichrome is very delicate. This is a hard plastic little disc that was put on top of the trichrome. There it is. And uh, it was to help it from breaking and I'm keeping it on that trichrome, believe me. It came with, um, I got a coupon, scratch off coupon and my coupons for 15% off uh, another purchase. And then I got this little card. It said Iridescent Sparkle Trichrome. Uh, they are pressed eye safe sparkles that reflect light and change shades in different angles. Handle gently and use extra care when traveling, which means I will never travel with this palette. And application tip, apply with fingertips using tapping motions or with a small synthetic brush for a more precise application. Now, it looks pink. I will do swatches, but when I went to put it on my eyes, it was just a pretty light shade. I, I can see the, let me pull the mirror closer to me because, you know, I'm kind of blind without my glasses. I see uh, like silver and maybe purple, maybe blue reflex. So let me swatch this. I am really, really... Uh, surprised by this palette. I wasn't sure. After I'd ordered it, I saw where uh, a couple of you said that their eyeshadows weren't, weren't very well, weren't very good. And I was like, oh, we'll see what I get. I find this palette very pigmented, very blendable. Now, I don't know how long they will last wear time because um, I just put this on. And if you want to see this uh, quick eye look, I will add it at the end of this video. Um, when I bought this palette, I didn't buy it to wear alone. I knew that wasn't going to happen. It was one that I was going to uh, use with other palettes. So that being said, <laughs> I don't mind this look at all. I, I think it looks, I think it looks kind of pretty. I'm kind of shocked. Now I'm wondering, do I need the purple one? I don't think I need the yellow one. I, I don't think I need the yellow one. And I forgot the other color. But I'm thinking, I don't know. I kind of like how this looks. Let's swatch them. I'm going to swatch the two mattes first. There are no, there are names. There are names. Okay. This is Juicy. I didn't realize they had names. And this is Tangerine. They feel so soft. Now, they don't feel... Uh, buttery. I wouldn't use the term buttery. They are a little powdery, but um, I think it's because they're so pigmented. And we have to remember these are hand pressed. These are this is an indie brand. This is not uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills or Natasha Denona. But the quality I think is amazing. Now, the two special shades is what really, really draw pulled me into this palette. This one is called Mixed Feelings and I used my finger to apply it to try to get both shades on my lid. So I'm going to use my finger to swatch this. I don't want to mess up the the difference. Do you see that? Look at that. They swatch just like they did in the photo. That is so pretty. And then last is the Trichrome which is called Blast. I'm going to be very careful with it just going to because it is crumbly. There we go. See how much lighter that looks than it does in the pan? 
and it just it's so pretty let me put it where I can see it yeah it's definitely pink with uh, some silver some purple I think some like blue green it, it's beautiful it's a beautiful shade and I'm sure the camera is not doing it justice but um, I like this palette I am pleasantly surprised and very happy with it um, I am I think going forward I want to spend um, I'm on a now officially a low buy but that doesn't give me um, that doesn't give me carte blanche to go shopping because as you know the, t the way the times are right now um, you know economy is not good my husband has been furloughed so I mean need to be careful but um, I think I might going forward start to uh, shop more with indie brands and try out different single shadows instead of big palettes and things like that but I really like this so I hope y'all enjoyed this video if you did please give me a thumbs up if you're new to my channel I would love it if you would subscribe any questions or comments just leave them down below and I'll see you guys next time thanks for watching